survivors and officials use the same word to describe the tragedy in New York, horrific. People were pulling the windows off, trying to get out through the emergency windows, screaming, yelling, it was just total panic. It happened during Tuesday evening's rush hour. Rail officials say a woman in a black SUV became stuck when a crossing gate came down on her vehicle. Investigators want to know not just what happened, but why. We know that we want to send somebody to look at the, at the, gray, at the signals, the rail traffic signals, the highway signals, as well as the crossing arms. The intersection of rails and roads has always been a problem. The Internet's full of heart-stopping videos showing near misses and collisions caught on camera. According to the public awareness group Operation Lifesaver, a person or a vehicle is hit by a train about every three hours in this country. To see the problem from an engineer's perspective, CNN took a ride in the engine of a Chicago commuter train. Operator Jeff Klein controls a seven-car train weighing a million pounds, carrying hundreds of passengers. About how fast are we going now? 60 miles an hour. And how long would it take to stop? Uh, controlled stop, like coming into a station, probably take about uh, four-tenths of a mile. A fully loaded freight train can take up to a mile to stop. Last year, according to the Federal Railroad Administration, 239 people died in what are classified as highway rail accidents. That's actually 120 fewer deaths than just a decade ago. In 2008, Congress backed a high-tech solution called positive train control that would monitor tracks ahead for obstructions, such as cars, and could stop a train automatically. But the system is expensive. The alternative that the uh, railroads are looking at and the federal government is trying to force upon the railroads positive train control is certainly much more costly. We're into the hundreds of millions of dollars right now, and we haven't even have the implementation of that system. Instead, Railroads have focused on less costly, low-tech solutions, such as raising public awareness. We just urge motorists to always be alert, especially around railroad crossings. Always be on the lookout for a train, because a train can come at any time. Technology may yet help prevent train vehicle collisions. But until then, drivers are offered simple advice. Never try to beat a train. I should point out that there was nothing to suggest in the accident last night in New York that that woman was trying to be detrained. Let me point out an app. It's called the Railroad Crossing Locator app put out by the federal government. Once you download it and click on it, it will show you every crossing that is located in your immediate area. Click on the crossing. It tells you the railroad system that uses it, what time of day it's used, the signals that are there. It will even tell you what is the cargo that is routinely crossing over that point. Pretty handy stuff.